Odin's Eye did it again. They came out with yet another breathtaking collection. So I have a pretty in-depth review for you today. I'm swatching on my cheeks all of the blushes, all six of them, all six of the highlights, doing two looks with the eyeshadow palette, and I'm also showing you all of the gel liners in the collection. Yeah, it's a pretty incredible collection. This is the Soul Main 2 collection. I am wearing one of my looks right now. I'm telling you now, Odin's Eye <laughs> did not disappoint. I did receive these in PR, so thank you so much for Odin's Eye for sending this my way. So some details about the collection when it is launching. It's launching May 20th at noon. So I believe that should be tomorrow. I will of course have a link for you guys to remind you if you are interested in picking up anything from the collection. If you do decide to pick anything up, I do have a code that will save you 10% off Morgan Turner. It is affiliated so I do get a kickback but in case you're interested I just wanted to let you know is much appreciated for those of you who do th take that time to support me. Full range is worth $375 if you want to pick everything up, but I will go over everything individually duh, in this review so you can pick and choose what you want. Let's get into it. We're first going to start off with the mirror, which is worth talking about, okay? So the mirror is going to be $10. It's going to come in two colors, I believe. It comes in this super cute box, but what makes this little hand mirror unique is one side is a normal mirror and the other side is a three times a magnified mirror. So for those of you that need detail, especially, you know, when applying your lashes or your liner, this is really great to travel because it does have that magnetized side and that normal side. And I think it's neat that they're offering this with the collection. We're going to start off with the blushes. I will have timestamps for each category just to help you maneuver through the review and I'll catch you guys at the end. Let's take a look at the blushes in this collection because phew, you guys will not be disappointed. So this is what the box that all six of the blushes are going to come in. It says Olden Eyes So Main to Sunlight Love Blushers. These are going to be $20.90 each. Here's the back of the box in case you need to look at any of the details or anything like that. Odin's Eye always does does a phenomenal job with their packaging, even their cardboard boxes, as you guys know. And then the component that every single blush is also going to come in is in this peachy kind of reflective component here. And then the back will give the name of the shade as well. We're going to swatch Rose Love first, but I just wanted to show you how pretty the packaging is. I just feel like over the years, I've really watched Odin's eye evolve and... <sighs> It just keeps getting better and better every collection. Now when you open up the component, there is a mirror and then each blush has this imprint on it right here. <gasps> Isn't it so beautiful? It even says Soul Main on it. So I'm turning my lights down so that you can see the true color. So the first shade that I'm swatching is one of the two kind of blush toppers. As you can see, it has a glow right here and then color right here. I'm just gonna get both. And here's what that looks like. You can see it's really shiny and really metallic. I'm going to swatch just this side right here. You can see it really is shiny the whole way through. When you get the super glimmery side, it's a little bit more metallic, but it's shimmery all the way through. Just going to show you what this looks like on the cheek. And this is what it looks like on the cheek by itself. For this, I view it almost more as a blush topper. So I would prefer to have a base color underneath. But actually, all things considered, it looks very, very pretty on the cheek. But when you turn, there really is a strong shift. It doesn't emphasize the bumps on my skin too much all things considered given how shiny it is this is really beautiful but I would prefer to use this as a blush topper as opposed to just a blush alone because it doesn't give too much color on my cheek when I am looking straight ahead but it's really beautiful. I honestly could use this as just a highlight alone to bleed out from a blush color. Next we have Sunset Clouds which is a matte kind of cooler toned pinky shade. Very pretty. And this is blending out really easily on the cheek. You can get a lot of color pretty quickly. So if you have a medium or deeper complexion, these will build up to definitely show up on your skin. It's quite impressive and it was a very quick and easy application. Just so that you can see, I'm gonna put a little bit of Rose Love, the shimmery blush topper right over top and I think this makes the cheek look a lot better than it just alone and it added a lot to the cheek. The next shade is Warm Sun which is a matte peach shade. Definitely looks really orange compared to those first two shades. 
I don't normally like an orange blush, but this is applying really beautifully to the face. I mean, I already know I love Odin's Eye Blush Formula from their first launch. These are stunning. They're just blending out so nice and simple. Next shade that we have is Peach Gleam. As you can see, mine came broken, but that's okay. This is gonna be another warm blush. This one is really hot fire, and I noticed this one has a lot less glimmer than the first one that we did. I already know I put too much on my brush. This one is super pigmented. <gasps> this one is gonna look really great on medium and deep complexions. Oh my goodness. I put too much on. I could definitely make this one work for my skin tone, but wow, she builds up. Medium and deep skin tones, this one is stunning. It has a very pretty sheen on it. And this one has more pigment too. Obviously I went a little bit overboard to show you guys, but those are those two. <laughs> The next blush that we have is Orange Sunny. This one is very, very bright. Oh my gosh, deep skin tones. Yes, look at that. You guys are gonna love that. I'm gonna try it on me. Let's see how we can get it to work. I'm gonna do like a little bit. Again, I really don't like orange blushes on me. So this blush collection isn't my favorite because there's a lot of orange blushes. But if you like orange blushes, this is for you. This is a very warm collection with the exception of the first two that I swatched. There's two pinks and the rest are quite warm. This is such a pretty orange. If you like orange and it flatters your skin tone, look at that. I find orange blushes make me look sick, <laughs> but they just don't look quite right on my skin tone but that's so pretty. And then the last one, this is the other blush topper one of the two. And you can see this one has a really strong kind of white shimmer. And then if you rub over it, you can see it turns a little bit more orange. So let's just get a little bit of both. Wow. This one is gonna be quite scary on me. So again, this is just like that first blush topper, the pinky one, where it actually doesn't give too much color on me like I thought. It gives me a little bit more color. It's when you turn that you see it, so I would prefer to put this on top of a matte blush. But that is really beautiful on its own for a certain type of look. I'm gonna put some of, this is Sienna Luster, by the way. I think I forgot to mention this one. <laughs> I'm gonna put this over top so you can see how it looks over them. Isn't that crazy? All right, so those are all of the blushes. As I suspected, they are all absolutely stunning. I, I will update you at the end of the video on how these wore, if I notice anything bad happening. But as of now, I'm loving these. They're blendable. I think the colors are gonna fit a wide range of skin tones as well. It's a very warm range, and there's only two pinks if you like something a little bit cooler. But if you like warm blushes, these are so beautiful and I'm really surprised at the blush toppers. They don't emphasize texture in an unflattering way. Yeah, and I like them more than I thought I would. Just like the blushes, there are six highlights in this collection. They are gonna be $22.90, so $2 more than the blushes. This time, they're gonna come in a purple carton. It's the same artwork as the highlights, but the color is different. And here's the back of the blushes if you need to take a look. Same exact components as well as the blushes, but it's in purple, you guys know how I feel about purple. The first color that we're going to go into is H101, which is Moon Talk. Okay, so the camera is struggling to pick this one up, but that's what this one looks like. Here you go. So this one is a green highlighter. Whoa. I'm using a Sigma F03. I hope you don't mind. I'm leaving the blush on for this first application. Wow, that green is very strong. So this is not one that I'd wear for every day, but I mean, the formula seems really beautiful and it applied very beautifully as well. Not my cup of tea, but if you like this, nice. And it really blended in perfectly with that blush topper as well. Okay, so that again is Moon Talk. This next one is Pink Star. So this one, I don't know if you can see, it has a pinky shift. Here is Pink Star. So this one on my swatch, you can definitely see how they're different. This one blends into the blush a little bit better color-wise, fitting right in with that orange. How pretty, these are really like invisible when you're looking straight on and then as soon as you turn, it's like boom, kind of euphoria style. This one is fun too. I'm partial to the pink. Warm Sunshine is definitely gonna be one of the more wearable highlights. So it has a warm shift to it, but a very light base. So that's what that looks like. Yeah, you can definitely see that's the most wearable. So it has a little bit of an orange shift to it. I think you can kind of see it now. 
So that's what that one looks like on me. Definitely more on the wearable side. Next we have Lavender Dream. This one, I don't know if you can see, but it really is a Lavender Dream and I feel like it has a little bit more reflex in there. It's definitely a little bit more glittery. You'll be able to see it by the swatch, yeah. Can definitely see this one is a little bit more ravey, you know, that kind of party. Let's try it. Oh my goodness, this is out of my comfort zone. This is so pretty though, and I've had some like highlights that look like this that feel like really bad quality. This one feels really nice. Ooh, for like a fairy kind of look. This one's kind of cool. Let me put it on my eyelid. Oh yeah, that's cool for like fairy vibes. Okay, so those are those two, two more to go. Azure Shine, you can see this one has blue to it. Odin's Eye kills it with these crazy colored highlights. This one is super icy. So this one has some glitter in it. It's definitely gonna be for a certain kind of look. Not looks that I do very often, but I'm not mad at it if this is your style. <laughs> and the last one that we have is very, very pretty. This is Rose Sky. It's just easier to see in the swatches. So this one has a lighter pink to it right here. Yeah, this one is quite pink. What do you guys think? So here are all six of the highlights again. As you can see, we have a mix. Some are more glimmery than others. Some have a smoother finish. None of these are really too wearable except for that middle one right here, which is warm sunshine. The rest have a blue, a pink, a purple, a green shift to them, but they really are fun. And I think the formulas are really beautiful. They remind me a lot of Kaleidos because Kaleidos does a lot of these as well. So if you see a color that you like, these are definitely a hit as well. I hope we're ready to take a look at the swatches of the star of the show. Odin's Eye easily has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. They have perfected their formula while managing to keep it pretty affordable. So this is the Solmain 2 palette. And you can see it's gonna be colorful just based on the packaging here. And then here is the back. And by the way, it does come in a matching sleeve that has the same artwork. So this palette is going to be $32.90. I don't know how they managed to do that because you get quite a lot of colors in this palette. And I mean, this palette is so stunning. Blues, purples, and warm shades. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to swatch this with you guys, but it does have a mirror. Oh my gosh, this palette is so beautiful. I just need to swatch it. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Starting off with the blue row, we have Soft Cloud, Mercury, and Neptune. Deep Space, Nebula, oh wow. <laughs> Meteor. That one's pretty, I want that all over me. Dream, Starry Sky, Galaxy, Hallucinations. <gasps> Ooh, I love that one. Now we're on the warm row now, so we have Warm Light, and then we have Sunlight, that's gorgeous. Solar, Eternal, Black Hole. So um, I didn't notice a single weird swatch with any of these. I love that this is a half shimmer, half matte palette and it just goes matte shimmer, matte shimmer. I like that layout. Don't think I've ever seen a palette like that and it's such a simple concept, but yeah, all of these swatched, absolutely stunning. It looks to be three really kind of slightly glittery shades and then the rest are true shimmer metallics and then the mattes, of course, following that. Let's get this on the eyes. I'm gonna do one eye first and I will be back. This look, oh my goodness. Ugh. And you guys, I'm just telling you now, great palette, really great quality. Starting off with Dream right here. This is gonna go in the inner half of the crease and you can see for it being a lavender. Doesn't it have a lot of pigment? So pleased with this. Then we are going in with Neptune. This is going to be the outer half of the crease color. Next, I'm going into Galaxy. And Galaxy, I'm gonna keep it low. I don't wanna blend it too high, but this is gonna go fill up the outer half of my lid and then I'm gonna soften the edges in towards the crease. Then I'm going into Nebula. I want it to be blue now. And I'm focusing this one in the outermost corner. So I still want some of Galaxy, that dark purple peeking through. But this is really gonna add some depth. I'm gonna pop in just a little bit more Galaxy, that dark purple, a little in a little bit so it still has its moment. Okay, this is gonna make this like a super dark Galaxy look, but we're going into Black Hole, which is the black. I love, love, love that they added a black in here because you can instantly get something deep and smoky. This is a 
game changer color. So I'm just gonna focus this just a little bit out here. And then we're gonna blend that. Now let's play with the shimmers. I'm gonna use my finger because that's what works best with Odin's eyeshadows. And we're gonna start off with Mercury. And if you don't know, I think Odin's Eye creates really high quality, beautiful, dimensional shimmer shades at some of the best price points. Like look at this, how beautiful is that? No glitter glue, no wet hand or whatever, no water, nothing. This is just the true color with just a finger. I wish I could put this all over the lid, but I wanted to play with the purples too. So I'm gonna start off with Hallucinations. This one is a little bit deeper and it's more of a metallic as opposed to like a glitter lid topper. So it lays a little bit more punch on the eyelid. And then I'm gonna top it off with Meteor, which is a little bit more lid toppery, kind of in between the blue and the purple right here to brighten things up. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? And then I just wanna take a little bit more. Yeah, there's certainly not a dud in this palette at all. I'm just going to go from blue to purple on the lower lash line, nothing fancy. Kind of repeat what I did exactly with the mattes down below. And then we'll do a blush and highlight together. Next, let's get into the gel liners because Odin's Eye launched their first gel liner formula, which I think is perfect. It's a multitude of different shades, which is really helpful with the colorful looks that you can get with their eyeshadow palettes. I think it is a phenomenal idea. Love the packaging of it. Let me show you just the whole idea, the aesthetic. So this is the box that it's gonna come in. It literally looks like an eyeshadow palette. It's the same material. It is the eyeshadow palette component, honestly. And then you open it up and it's gonna fall everywhere on me. Hold on. Here it will tell you the names of the shades because they're all numbered 1 through 15 on the component itself but here it gives you the names and then you have a full range of I'm gonna put this down <laughs> 15 different eyeliners. So I just wanna show you the component real quick. It says Odin's Eye, this is 001, which is Patea. And you pull the end out, you do have a sharpener because these are an automatic pencil. This is what it looks like. And I wanna show you how it swatches. We'll do the first two together and then I'll swatch the rest. So that's what it looks like. Honestly, it is a drier formula. It's not very creamy, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Here is number two, orange. This one has a little bit more pigment, I feel like. It's a touch creamier. Okay, I'll swatch the rest and I'll be back. Okay, so here are all 15 of the shades swatch in the exact number, one at the top, 15 at the bottom. I noticed that there was definitely a lot of inconsistencies in these. Some felt dry, some felt a little creamier. There's three metallic shades in here. Some of the tips broke off. It just was not a good swatching experience. I'm gonna go to a demo next for the look that I did. And I mean, I've used these before. The day that I'm filming, these swatches these have been used these are quite dry especially like the more colorful ones they are definitely too harsh on my waterline and you'll see that now because they are more dry they will last a little longer in your waterline but the application just really irritated my eyes I'm telling you right now I don't recommend these eyeliners I think you're better off going for the ColourPop cream gel liners if you want colorful gel liners but these are the ones that I think you could pass on I think I forgot to mention the price I'm a real good youtuber so the whole set of the 15 shades is $59.90 but you can buy each color individually for $5.90 I'm not saying they don't work they do if there's a color you are absolutely dying for sure get it if it's a unique shade that you can't find anywhere else but these are not my favorite gel liner formulas they are more on the affordable side so you can certainly make them work but I just don't really like them. So anyways, here's a demo of me using them yesterday. Okay, I'm going to try two different of the eyeliner pencils. So the first one I'm gonna try is number four. This is like a minty greenish color. I'm gonna put this on the inner half of my waterline. Mm, I can tell you I don't like these already. This is taking too much work to build up in the waterline. If you have sensitive eyes instantly, this is a no. The colors are pretty obviously, there's a huge range here, but I feel like on my hand they swatch a little softer, but when it comes to actual application on the waterline, which is most likely what I'm gonna use these types of colors for, it doesn't really show up that well, so not creamy enough. Doesn't like the waterline. Of this whole collection, this is the only thing that I'm not absolutely dying for. I love the 
concept, love the idea and love the packaging, but execution of the actual eyeliner pencil, it's irritating my eyes, unfortunately. It'll be easier to use as actual eyeliner. I'm gonna use the black to see how it goes for actual eyeliner. Yeah, this is easier just to physically line on the skin with, but it doesn't like going over the waterline. Using it like this is fine. It's not the smoothest, but I don't really mind that. Or up here because it's still not skippy. Some eye pencils will totally skip on this and it just won't be a good situation and it will look patchy. Oh, this one is going over fine, but still. I would want these for colored eyeliner in the waterline. They don't really work as good for that, so these guys are not my favorite. I know this wing is terrible. I'm gonna go in and fix it. I just needed to see how it did. It did okay. So for blush, I grabbed the shade Sunset Clouds. And this is the more pinky blush. It just goes the best with the look that I have going on. So pretty, love this blush. I think the blushes are probably my favorite well, no, the palette's my favorite part in the collection, but the blushes are a very, very close second. Like, I love these blushes. Look, I feel like they just make face look so smooth. And then for highlights, I really like the formula of the highlights, but the colors aren't my cup of tea because I'm basic and I like more neutral colors. But I'm gonna use Rose Sky you can see is more pink, but I thought that this would be nice. Like still wearable-ish, not that this look is wearable at all, but I thought it would be really pretty blended in with the pink blush. And as you can see, it definitely is. All right guys, so here is the first look with the liner, the eyeshadow, and all of the blushes and blush and highlight. Since this collection is too big, I'm actually filming this in two days. So I'm gonna send you over to the second tutorial which will be tomorrow playing with the warm tones but this first look is playing with the cool tones. I'm gonna love this look. This one's gonna be my favorite because I don't like warm tones like that but I want to try the warm eyes with the warm blushes but mmm I love this. Okay see you tomorrow. Welcome to look number two. This one is a lot more wearable. I wanted to play with the warm row so you could see in action all of my fellow neutral girls. This one's for you to kind of show what you can do with this palette if you want to be a little bit less purple and blue. <laughs> I'm starting off with the shade Warm Light right here. So this is a yellow with a tinge of orange in it. And again, this look, nothing special. I'm like going out in public today and I just wanted to keep it a pretty simple warm look. You can see that this laid down a good amount of pigment. I mean, you guys know this formula is really good by now. So yeah. I like the shade and it's a great base for a lot of different looks. Mm, if you do a yellow and purple look with this palette, it's going to look incredible. I need to continue playing with this because you guys know I do looks for review purposes. So I test out specific shades that I think I need to feel out a little bit, but you can do some incredible looks with this. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Solar Next, which is this PT orange shade. This shade I do wish had a little bit more depth in it. I just feel like it goes a little lighter on the eyelid than I was expecting. I mean, it's still a very nice, fine shade. I just was expecting it to look a little different, but you know, it still works out fine. Still is that great Odin's eye quality. Going into a sunlight, which is a metallic yellow. And I'm going to put this on the inner half of my lid. This shade you can apply with a brush if you want. It will apply great with a brush, but it's just something about a finger. You guys know. I'm popping that in. And then let's get into Eternal. So, so creamy. This shade is really gorgeous. I feel like it has a little extra reflectiveness compared to the yellow shade that we just used. And that's going to bridge between the matte orange and the shimmery yellow. This shade is so pretty. I think it's gorgeous. And then because it's Odin's eye, I did want to add a little extra glimmer. So this shade, Starry Sky, it might look a little pink in the pan, but it really doesn't have too much of a base and it has such a strong gold shimmer. I'm using this as a lid topper right over the shimmery yellow. And do you see how that brightened it up and added so so much more dimension. Ugh, I feel like that really amped it up and made this look so much more special. I'm gonna take now some of Black Hole and I'm just going to make a small wing with it. 
pretty natural just to kind of extend my eye shape but doing nothing too crazy and you can see how black and wonderful this shade is. So on the lower lash line I used the matte yellow on the inner half and the matte orange on the outer half and then I took the black in to create an inner wing. This black eyeshadow is better than the black eyeliner just so you know. I pulled a couple of different shades for eyeliner. <gasps> this just like completely snapped when I open it. Yeah. That's a pattern with these. These keep breaking on me. So, okay, this is supposed to be the shade Lemon. I feel like this is stabbing my eye. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get because that color in particular is really hard. Mm. I wasn't kidding you guys, they keep breaking. Like I just opened it and it just shattered. Okay. I'm gonna use the orange shade, which is named orange. This one is creamier than the yellow though. I will say that this actually applied much easier, more creamy. So there definitely is some inconsistencies in these eyeliners. The pastel ones are definitely more dry. The darker ones are a little bit creamier, but yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. For blush, I'm using the BK Beauty and Angie brush A507. Love this blush brush. I chose Orange Sunny. I told you I wanted to use some of the warmer shades. And I'm gonna pop this on the cheeks, starting towards the back and then bringing it forward. A little bit more on the apples. And then I wanted a little bit of shimmer, so I thought I'd go in with Sienna Luster on top, which is one of the blush topper shades. So I'm kind of keeping it a little bit higher because I'm gonna have that bleed into the highlight, but honestly, you could totally get away without a highlight and using this just as is. For the highlight, we're using Warm Sunshine, which is that highlight that I shared that's the most wearable. Goes perfect with this look, oh my goodness. Love it. And finish the rest of my makeup and we will finish off this video. Side note, with the lips, this lip combo is amazing. It's the Hindash Lip Tone Pencil in Hush and then the Odin's Eye Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ripe Papaya in the center of the lips. Mm, you have to pick up this Ripe Papaya if you plan on playing with the warm shades in this collection. Overall, love this collection. Odin's Eye, you rock as per usual. You can't go wrong with the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is stunning, not a single dud, lots of opportunity for different looks, so much versatility. You love shimmers, glimmers, you will love this. You also have options to tone it down, keep it more wearable, get a really pretty all matte look. I'm really inspired by this palette. Oh, I just kids getting better and better every time. The blushes are the other part of this collection that I think are phenomenal. It's a majority warm collection, so keep that in mind. But even though I don't like warm blushes, and these are very, very warm, I still think they are really fun to play with if you're gonna pull the warm tones from the eyeshadow palette. I like the blush toppers as well. I think they're very pretty and unique. There's not a finish quite like this in terms of blush toppers that I've tried, so Great range of blushes. They look beautiful on the cheeks. They blend beautifully. Gorgeous packaging. They're totally worth the money. The highlights, they are stunning. Not gonna deny that. Great quality. It just doesn't matter if you're gonna use the colors or not. For me, if I didn't get sent this, I would not have ordered anything besides warm sunshine because I just don't use colorful highlighters, but amazing formula from Odin's Eye. The only thing I didn't like in the collection were the gel liners. I just don't think they're worth it. I'd go the route of ColourPop instead. It's similar price point. The pro of these is they actually do last a pretty decent amount of time in the waterline if that's what you're looking for. But to build up the color, my eyes are just too sensitive, so I don't see myself reaching for these. So for me, these are not something I'm probably gonna use after this video. The idea was there, I just would have loved a creamier formula. But overall, besides the gel liners, everything is really great. You can't go wrong with Odin's eye eyeshadow. I don't know how they're able to create such a great formula, such great packaging, the concept, the aesthetic, everything. At the price that they do, you won't regret it. So let me know down below if you are planning on picking this up. If you are planning on picking this up, if you're looking for a code, I have a code. It's Morgan Turner. That will save you 10% off on checkout. It is affiliated, so keep that in mind. I do receive a small kickback from that but you save 10% as well. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed this review and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.